hi guys i think this is the hardest but also the most important video we've done so far because today we want to give you a little reality check on living together as a family i've been with my parents for five months now and you always think having a puppy is the best thing in the world but but there are also definitely lots of downsides so we want to talk about that today and be super honest and transparent with you why i think this video is so important is because we always wanted to be like super transparent and honest about living together as a family and how it really is with having a new puppy or a dog that hits puberty and there are so many great moments and memories that you're gonna make with your new dog but there are also so many more struggles and so many more difficulties that brings along that a puppy brings along into the new family and also we believe this video is important because we think that we aren't the only ones that have been struggling for some times or also just like several moments and that lots of couples or um, like uh, dog parents get to a point where they say oh my gosh i cannot do this anymore i need a moment for myself this is too much Maybe it was a wrong decision. Maybe I made the decision too early. Can I really handle all of this? And it is so, so difficult to talk about all of this because as a dog parent, you feel like you're really struggling and you're not very sure whether you can like handle everything. And if you feel like you're alone with that and with those feelings, and if you feel like everyone else is doing great, all the other puppies are able to stay home alone. They're able to do all these tricks. They're so well trained. And then you feel like, oh my gosh, my puppy is just like struggling. I don't know how to handle her or him. And it makes it so hard to not get like mad at yourself or disappointed in your skills of raising a puppy. And that's why it's so important because... We need to be honest and transparent with that and just like help each other out because it's basically like raising a child and everyone is going through ups and downs and on social media oftentimes only the ups and the highs are shown that's why we also want to talk about times that are more difficult and for us like a time that was more difficult was last week everything was just too much and we already talked about it in this video as to why we hired a dog trainer i'm gonna link it up here and it was because we had basically lots of struggles with me just like staying home alone or staying in a room alone and not always following my parents and like having struggles with separation anxiety anxiety especially outside so we did some changes according to our dog trainer and we also felt like a lot of them really helped and one of the thing, things was that my mom had to become more distant and she had to become more distant emotionally as, as well and also had to be harder on myself or myself as a puppy and to be honest it wasn't easy at all not for my mom and not for me as well because especially my mom tends to go from one extreme to the other and she always tries to find a solution to a problem like in the moment the problem arises that's why once the dog trainer told us okay we need to become more like they need to become harder on me and like tougher and more consequent my mom like went from being like super loving and like uh, ignoring me sometimes when I do like bad stuff to being like too hard and too consequent and she like denied everything and then I tried to be like rebellious and I like barked at her and she like said no and I barked at her and it was like really this back and forth between us and it was so difficult because none of us really knew what to do like it was really bad my mom was like so angry at me because I like I barked at her and like I wanted to also get my way and she tried to forbid me something and yeah we just like want to tell you one situation like one example that was like where we said the words 
okay, we cannot do this anymore because right now we're in Spain. As some of you know, we are, we live here some times of the year, some months of the year, and we have this like rooftop terrace and we just like wanted to put some grass in our lounge area. And it literally took us two days because we had to like glue the grass on the ground and it had to dry. And my parents just thought, okay, we're just like gonna they just like gonna put me in one corner of the rooftop and I could just like lie there and sleep and they could do the work but it didn't work at all like I couldn't rest because I thought that my parents were like playing around with the grass and I was like so I just like wanted to go there because it was so exciting and they forbid me to go there so I barked and then like I barked again and they forbid it again and I barked again and basically my parents aren't that good at like doing handiwork and at setting up furniture or also at like doing that and like applying the grass on the ground it was so tough on them already and then I basically barked for like a whole hour half an hour they didn't know what to do they tried different things and it just didn't work and so we continued the work on another day and they just like gave me a licking mat so I licked that mat for like 15 minutes everything was fine and afterwards we had the whole problem again like nothing worked so they put me in our flat alone and I barked constantly because I cannot be alone and it's just like the situation was too much so basically the three of us just like we're not doing well we were angry we were like just exhausted from all the noise all like not, not not knowing what to do and it was such a tough and such a sad situation so basically that's when my parents said these words oh my gosh it was too early to get a dog we do not do not know how to handle her. We're never going to get a second dog. We need to get the dog back. Like they didn't know what to do. And they were like so sad and so frustrated with the work they've done. And it, like we were just like a nervous wreck. Like all of us, like it was so bad. And of course they didn't mean anything they said. And they love me so much. But that was the time when we know okay we had to change something and you know like always the human has so much impact on a situation like the human does something and then the dog just reacts to it so basically of course it was my parents fault that I reacted the way I did and I just like they didn't know better so it was just like so emotional so sad and such a tough situation for all of us but that day we like we just like let it all be and then the next day we sat together down as the family and just like we reflected so much of the past days and we also took out the notes that we like took after our meeting with our dog trainer and we basically like set up a whole new plan on how to go forward how to move forward as a family and the way we did that is that we listened a lot to our gut feeling because, I mean, we definitely agreed with some of the things our dog trainer said. And I think that my parents know that some of the things are very good and working for us. And it's also always good to get an objective view. But it was also important for them to listen to what they think. Because, I mean, they spend most of the time with me. They know me. And we just, like, really took a step back and, like, looked at all the situations we had objectively. And to be honest, it's been getting like so much better since then. Like we are real family again. We're like really happy. They're just like happy to have me in their family. And of course, they're not gonna like give me up and they love me so much. I know that. But it's just like it's been the situation that was just too much and all of us were emotional. And as a new family that happens and it's like nothing to be ashamed of and it's so important to talk about this because there are always going to be situations that are going to be like harder and situations that are going to be easier so right now we're just like seeing how we can like develop the situation with us as a family in a direction where it works for all of us we're going to like set up new boundaries and also just gonna see how we can live together and everyone is happy and that's just the most important thing.
so basically we just like wanted to share this with you guys in order for you to see that not everything is always easy with a new puppy or a new bot dog that hits puberty i mean i'm seven months old now so i am sometimes i have a little temper and i of course want to test my boundaries so if you you are going through something like that as well like just take a step back and see how you can reevaluate the situation and also just know that it's normal that stuff like that happens and you're not the only one so we really hope that this video helped you guys and it also made you question yourself a little bit less and just like gave you some insights as to how it also can be like having a new puppy and it's not always easy and please please do not get this video wrong my parents love me so much they will never ever ever let me go and it's just like some insight into our lives and that we also have like rough days and it's not always a vlog where we're going around town and everything is nice so I really hope that you liked this video even though it was different than our other videos and I also hope that you're gonna subscribe to my channel and follow me on my journey as a little puppy growing up. I mean like going through puberty and everything we're gonna share everything out of our lives and then we'll see each other again in our next video the next days.